Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Enemy Spirits updated a few days ago and I thought that I could make a sh another showcase video about the update. So yeah, let's get right into it. So this update is about Itadori V2 fighting style and new secret Megumi Soul. So first secret soul in the game. So um, I'm quite hyped about it. So let's begin off by the location since um, this might be the most questions that you might want to know, you know. So um, first of all, let's begin off by the dungeon. Dungeon is right beside the spawn at JJK Island. So um, it's in C1, so come to JJK Island for the new dungeon and grind if you want and all, the, all that. But yeah, it was painful. So um, yeah, good luck with the grind. So uh, that's the dungeon and the NPC for the fighting style trainer. So Itadori V2 trainer is like right beside the quest NPC for this one. You should you should be able to find him or this NPC like pretty easy since uh, I'm sure you you have been through this quest. So yeah, the V2 trainer is right here. And let's move on to Awakener. So um. Awakener is like opposite side of the island from that NPC, so uh, it's like all the way here. Yeah, Awakener is all the way here, so um, I will go over the requirement and all that later, along with the update log. So yeah, bear with me on that. So and let's move on to uh, Megumi Awakener. So. Megumi Awakener is like, I don't know, I I knew where he was, but um, I forgot actually. Let me look around. I know he's somewhere like around here, so he might be like behind this thing. Yeah, Megumi Awakener. Here's the Megumi Awakener, so um, basically kind of like a triangle. So um, all, one on the all the way at the left side from the spawn, one on the far right. And this one on like just straight from the spawn. So yeah, they really like to do like hide and seek with all these NPCs and I really hate it. Since it takes like 5 minutes just to find a single NPC so yeah, I, I really hope they stop with the hide and seek all, and all that stuff. So since we found all the NPCs or the locations for the dungeon and stuff, let's move on to a update log. So new mythical fighting style, which is Itadori V2. It is a strongest and it becomes much stronger and looks cooler when you awaken it. So, and I have it right here as well, along with the Megumi Soul. And of course, let's go over the requirement. Requirement is to obtain Itadori V2, you need 50k gems, one Itadori V2 energy from from this dungeon. So this dungeon, it's 1%. So it will take a while. So yeah, good luck with it. Also, um, important note or side note, you do not need Itadori V1 to obtain v2 so all you have to do is if you have energy and 50k gems just run up to this guy right here just run up to him and say oh like you don't need v1 you can just get this directly so that is a good news for people like me since i did not have itador v1 so yeah let's move on to awakening to awaken your Itadori V2, you need V2 fighting style and 10 Itadori V2 shard, which is also a drop from this dungeon. So yeah, all the drop will be from this dungeon. So all you have to do is just uh, grind on this. So it it will be easy, like easy, fast and easy. But um, the drop chances are the one that comes as a villain. So uh, the shard is 10%. The energy is 1%, so keep that in mind. It will take a while. Alright, let's move on to the soul. A new secret soul, which is Megumi's soul. 
So um, this soul I have right here, and I have awakened of course, is a first secret soul to be released in game. So uh, which was which made me really excited. So this is not you cannot spend this to get it. Like you cannot spend for this fruit. So you have to get it from this dungeon. Yeah, so you have to get it from this dungeon. It is a drop from the dungeon, so yeah. Another grind to do. So good luck with that. <laughs> and uh I will I will explain more as I like introduce the next one, the next system they added. So um currently they added a new dungeon system which is a super dungeon boss. So this dungeon has a super dungeon boss and it has 10% chance to appear instead of the normal one. So yeah, um, 10% that's quite low but um, I was able to get plenty of them like uh, maybe like twice in a row sometimes if I was lucky and this boss has a aura so um the super boss has aura around his body so um you it will be easier to figure out if it's super boss or not also super boss has higher hp so yeah it, you will be you will know about the super boss so and the super boss increases the regular itadori boss drops by times two so yeah, it doubles the drop chance from the normal boss, which means the shard, um, the Itadori V2 shard will be 20% from the Itadori super boss. So super boss doubles the drop chance, so which means energy will be 2% from the super boss, shard will be 20%, and access accessories will have double the chance than normal boss so that is a good news so uh that would it kind of will make grind ease or the farming easier so and also it has a chance of dropping the secret soul megumi so yeah so the super boss drops the megumi soul not from normal boss only from super boss so yeah it, it will take a while like it will take a good bit to get this soul unless you're like really lucky so yeah good luck with the grind and all that so yeah and uh i forgot to mention uh which i skipped because i had to introduce super boss first so about the soul um in the future if a player awakens megami soul completely then the soul will become permanent yeah they will make this permanent if you awaken megumi soul complete uh but i have awakened it but i don't know if there will be more awakening so um i might have to wait and see but as of right now i think i'm set so yeah um new mode passive uh i'll just go over this by whenever i do a showcase so new accessories yes new accessories has released along with the dungeon of course so itadori's coat and itadori's pants so coat gives 600 strength 550 defense 650 soul and pants gives 550 strength 550 defense and 600 soul yeah um so yeah this this is not the best but yeah this is not the best there is a accessory that is better which is from the super boss it's called megumi accessories i don't really know the um stats from those but um as you see i have these on right now or it would be better to just show you all see i have the megumi's coat and megumi's pants these two are secret accessories from the super boss and uh, these are better than the Ita Itadori ones so yeah go for the Megumi if not uh, go for Itadori since those will be second best so yeah also there is a new code as always every update it's called um, 
Jujutsu update. Jujutsu update. So um, I don't think I have used it. Yeah, I haven't. So yeah, two fifty gems, five race spins, and perk spins. So not that much, but definitely helps. So、uh, I recommend redeeming it. So yeah, and miscellaneous update. This is basically the ones that I have went over already. So um. Oh no, I haven't. So as you see, beside my character or beside on the left bottom, it says Megamo's pet. As you see, this is a new pet they added, which is from a super boss again. So、um, yeah, it's a one percent drop chance. So、um, this one is definitely worth grinding. Like since they added a pet, do secret soul and secret accessory. So yeah, this is definitely worth grinding for it. So yeah. Like go for it if you can. If not, try to look, find someone else to play with, maybe, and then do the dungeon. So in that case, it would be faster to grind. So yeah. Other than that, um, yeah, they they added a new pack or bundle. See, uh, Itadori and Megumi Duo bundle, which is new. Of course, it gives all the gold gems, perk spins, race spins. And Itadori V2 Awakening Set and Secret Megmo Soul Awakening Set.、Um, the, personally, the grind was just painful. Like I hated it because I have to wait for Super Boss, and I have to hope that I get the Soul or the、uh, you know the Shard and all that. So it was really painful. Oh yeah, I forgot to go over this thing. So、um, about the Awakening. So let's go over with the trainer and awakening. So to get the Itadori V2, you need 50k gems and Itadori V2 soul、uh, energy. I have went that over already. For the awakener, you need、uh, 10 Itadori V2 shards, and you have to be a Itadori V2 fighting style user. Yeah, this is it. 10 Itadori V2 shards, and、uh, just have Itadori V2 fighting style. That's it for this one. So pretty easy, yeah, pretty easy. And now let's move on to Megumi Awakener. So、um, this one is quite tough. Ten、uh, Shadow Shard and be a Megmo style oh Soul user. So、um, yeah, it it sounds like it's easy and all that, but no, it's not. The Ten Shadow Shard is from a Super Boss. So yeah, which is a the boss Super Boss itself. Is ten percent chance to appear, and the shard is ten percent chance to drop from a super boss. So、um, yeah, and the problem is that super boss also drops the normal、uh, bosses drop. So and is doubled. So yeah, you'll have more chance obtaining the normal boss drop than the super boss one. So yeah, definitely good luck to that. So. I actually thought of buying this bundle like personally, because of how like st stressful this grind was. Like you know, like I have to wait for Super Boss, and I have to hope to get the Ten Shadow Shard and the Soul and all that. So yeah, it was quite painful. Um. Also, you might have noticed something weird on top of my name. This is a new title from.、Uh, this is a new secret. Uh, title from this dungeon as well, but this title can be dropped from a normal boss, so which is one percent. So yeah, this dungeon is definitely worth grinding. Like it will be stressful and painful, all the sufferings, but it will be worth it when you off when you just obtain everything that you need. So I do recommend doing this dungeon. So yeah, go for it, and who knows if you're lucky, you might be able to get. Stuff faster than before. So, all right. So,、um, now we're done with the update log and all that. Let's begin with the showcase.、Uh, I will go over the showcase pretty fast because、um, I don't want the video to be like really long and all that. So, let's begin with the Itadori V2 fighting style. So, quite simple. Nothing much. Like, so、uh, simple domain. Let's just let's just do it right here. So simple domain, which is E, and it, 
looks just like you know just a, a short uh just full aoe and all that it looks like multi-hit to me so yeah and next up we have black flash cleave yeah long range uh seems like multi-hit but as of the speeds though it might hit like twice yeah because of the speed but yeah long range which is good and next up we have strongest black flash this one is a really like long ranged just like a lot of vfx going on so let me turn off the screen shake and let's try again yeah look at that really long ranged multi-hit of course and has all these particles just you know flying everywhere really cool it would it, it did look really cool with the screen shake and all that so uh next up we have true blood arrow oh oh dude okay so okay dude that was what was that hold up hold up hold up i gotta check this again let me do it like right there okay it shoots the arrow and it causes explosion this is cool this is really cool okay i did not test this by myself like because i was more excited about the soul so i did not test skills on this but look at that this is so cool yo okay all right my bad my bad uh move on to next we have full curse mode and yeah look at that it goes so well and it has that uh red cross with the uh, um to from the eyes so that is nice and these red auras and some type of like lightning or like you know like cursed some type and he has that different arm as you see you can't really see because of the um, accessory or coat but yeah you still can see somewhat so this is nice and of course this gives buffs and all that so yeah it definitely gives speed buff so this is nice and let's move on to a ultimate black flash so this is a t skill oh oh okay so it kind of looks like um expand domain expansion or something like that from schooner you know but yeah it definitely looks much cooler because of the color um as you see let's use it over here yeah see look at that looks so cool really good vfx i actually like this and uh this will be it for itadori v2 yeah overall i really like this uh fighting style skills look so cool like this one looks cool but uh i kind of wished for like to have more like you know black added to the red so uh kind of makes more like you know this kind this type or this kind of color so uh, you know much pretty a bit more darker but still good uh black flash cleave look at that yep long range and this another long range and multi hit and another long range which is i really like this one i don't know why i really like that one and the mode and the ultimate black flash yeah so i really like this all right let's move on to next which is megumi soul uh secret megumi soul and of course i have awakened as i said before so let's get right into it first skill rabbit's charge so it just summons a bunch of rabbits and just you know they charge toward the enemy so it will be multi-hit so and uh pretty long cooldown compared to uh mastered ultra instinct goku but um i'm sure it does more damage so and next up we have Nue rush oh 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 okay so i guess it spawns from behind and then just rush toward the enemy yeah it spawns from behind and charges down and then disappears back when it goes back up this is really nice yeah look at that it's so cool uh the range isn't that good compared to Mugoku, but uh 
this one's still good. This one's still nice. Yeah, I like. I really like the VFX. It, it's not like. Uh, it looks more like anime fit, you know. So I really like this. So we have Mahoraga World Slash for next up. Uh, let's use it like. Uh, let's just use it like this. So uh, no difference. Just like Skuna, I think, but much, much shorter, I think. Yeah, and uh, much shorter cooldown as well. But yeah, um, I don't know about this. It it doesn't really have the any VFX. So um, hmm. Well, I guess it's fine though. This one, I don't know. I kind of. Kind of looks different than the Skuna Malraga slash. Or no, it goes vertically. Okay, uh, how did I miss that? Yeah, it sends a uh, vertical slash. Okay, I did not know that. Okay, that's cool. Let's try it again and see how it is. Yeah, it goes vertical slash. That's cool, that's cool. I did not see that, so that's my bad on that one. Next up, we have 10 Shadows Burning Flames. Let's use it. Oh, so this is another long range. Okay, that's nice. So it does have some long range, but not as long as like different, you know, souls or fighting style. But this is still nice. Look at that. Yeah, this is really nice. And next up, we have... 10 shadows mode uh let me take off this and here we go 10 shadows mode as you see like um okay it really kind of fits the fits the name 10 shadows mode like, i like it but um okay um so this is 10 shadows mode and it gives buff and all that so that's nice and let's move on to our last skill complete domain expansion Okay, let's see how this one is. Oh, okay, okay, that is a lot of lag. But this one definitely looks really cool. This one looks cool. I kind of want to use it while I'm like, you know, not zoomed out and all that. Let me use it here. So let's wait on the cooldown. And here we go. Oh, he does the motion. And okay, okay, this is really cool. You can't really see, but yeah, this is cool. So overall, I'm I'm kind of satisfied by the update they did. I really like these both of them, to be honest. And I like how they made the dungeon really grindy. So um, I have to actually, you know, get, I can actually get a lot of drops from this dungeon. So uh, I really like this personally, and. Let's see, um, I think that's it for this video, or, yeah. So, we went over the location, or the requirements, and Itadori V2 fighting style, and Secret Megumi Soul, so, um, overall, really, I'm really happy with the update. I, I was excited and all that. So, um, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Uh... We do have, we do, we did have some of the, we did have one um, giveaway which was for Megumi Soul. So um, if you need one, join the server and we might be able to hold another. So yeah. So don't forget to join the Discord server to um, join the giveaways and all that. And uh, I will put the link down in the description. So yeah, don't forget to check that out. So I'll see you guys later. Um, I'll be back with another video. So see ya.